guys. Um, let me roll up these windows. So I'm actually starting the vlog the night before because tomorrow Hunter's room is gonna be pretty much done. And I say pretty much because we're still gonna be painting like the um, trim and stuff and getting that on and like we still have to install the door. But all of his stuff, like we'll just use a curtain right now to hold the place of a door till we can get back to Home Depot or Lowe's. I'm heading back home right now and I will show you guys the room a little bit empty and then I'm really hoping for the majority of the vlog we are going to be focusing on Hunter's room and decorating it. Oh, I'm so excited. I just want to show you guys the progress, like it completely empty. Also, the closet needs to be buttoned up, but we'll talk about that some more. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about in a couple minutes when we get back home. Truthfully, it's quite bittersweet to see his room being finished because this has been a project for so long that it's almost like it's finally here and happening but also i'm gonna miss like, my little buddy hanging out in my room um, i was gonna point to my door but my door you can't see it from here so tonight is probably his last night in my room I'm trying to find an okay place to put you guys um i really don't know how i'm gonna set up this room yet so like i said we installed the carpet today um we're gonna fix up the you can see the green paint got a little messed up so we're gonna finish that tonight but all of the outlets have covers now and like the little baby safety plastic pieces i think the only one that doesn't have a cover is that light switch there there is the closet of course like i said we still need to button that up get a door on the closet, get a door here, but we're just gonna put a curtain rod for now, um, just so he has some privacy. He's a baby, he doesn't really need, you know, <laughs> he's not a teenager yet. And and of course the um, trim for the bottom and the crown molding as well, which is all gonna be painted before it's installed. But we figured, you know what, it's livable at the moment. Um, of course it just needs its couple touches, but, we were going to move him in today, but he was very, very tired coming home from going grocery shopping. He just wouldn't have made it. So I'm like, you know what? Let's just put him to bed tonight. Tomorrow, which will be the continuation of today's vlog, um, we will sit down and pull his crib in here. So his room is weird. Like it's an L. So it comes in a little this way where you walk into the room. Of course, you have a little closet on this side, but then it's just a kind of a long room. Like it goes down quite a bit. It's all the way down. So I don't know if I should put his crib. What I'm thinking is putting his crib here because besides that one, there's no like outlets where on this wall, there's an outlet right there. I was also debating on putting the, the crib here, but then I just kind of felt like it would leave a little bit of a weird space to work with. So I think I'm gonna put the crib here. He has a bookshelf, so maybe the bookshelf in that corner or something. He has a toy chest as well, and then he has like a tall standing up bureau. So I think it's literally, I almost debated on making this house on The Sims. Uh, not the house, the room. I might do that if I'm able to go downstairs real quick and film like a quick layout of this room that I want to do. I'll do that. If not, I'm sorry. I think it's just going to take getting all the furniture in here, seeing the scale of everything. And then I have all of his uh, paintings and like decor ready to go. Obviously, I just don't want to hang anything yet, but that is all here. I'll turn on this light. So much stuff that chest full of decor full of stuff his room is gonna be so stinking cute when it's done we also taped off the windows to trim that uh, to paint that trim and everything so it's really coming along and tomorrow let's get one last quick look around because tomorrow 
we're gonna start, we'll probably do a time lapse or something, but for now, I'm gonna go downstairs, see if I can do that little simulation thing for ya. If not, I will see you guys in the morning. I was able to turn on my Sims and start recording for you guys. So I made here uh, just the general layout of his room. Uh, so you see the small little closet and kind of the L-shaped room that we're working with. So I figured this scale would change once I start adding in the furniture. So what I wanna first do is kind of just lay out all the pieces of furniture that I'm anticipating going into this room. And I really wasn't sure if I should use a crib or just a toddler bed uh, for reference, but I figured he's not gonna be in a crib forever, so we'll just end up changing that to a toddler bed. Once I have all the pieces of furniture that I wanna use for this example yeah. laid out. Ah. By the way, I'm a mom, so uh, my work never stops with my kids, so my son is also with me. But let's get some lighting in here. So he does have uh, one ceiling fan and then a light in the closet. But just to give me a little more lighting in the game, I added two lights. I'm also going to add in the doors. So of course we have the main door to enter his room and then the closet door right next to that. And then we do have these oddly shaped window. I hate these windows. I hate these windows with a burning passion. If I was not selling this house, I would take the time to replace the windows. Now, once I put in the doors and the windows, I realized that the scale that I made was far too large. So I'm literally just gonna copy this exact style, but I'm just gonna scale it down a little so the furniture makes more sense. After I got the scale the way that I want it to be, I started playing around. So you'll see that I throw down a similar carpet color and the wall colors. After playing around with it, I think what I explained earlier where the crib was gonna go and the bureau was gonna go, I think that was a perfect placement. I'm gonna have to play around in real life with the bookshelf and the toy chest because again, the scale is not exactly what it is in real life where it is in the game but it's pretty darn close so I'm really really happy with this layout as it is we're gonna take this design and go upstairs and see if we can apply it to my son's room today is the day I was so excited I get to finally decorate my son's room so most of everything is in here I'll show you in just a second we still got to get the crib in here but we got we got to take it apart first it's not going to fit through the doorway so his bed is going to go here we have this whole wall obviously the wall behind me the wall that you guys are on with the bureau and the little uh diaper station again i'll show everything and then we have quite a bit of space over there so what i'm gonna do just to see kind of everything that we have I'm gonna try to lay it out the best I can or like line it up against the wall for now. Um, I have to open up the, the chest as well. There's stuff in there. And then I gotta go downstairs and bring up the bookshelf as well. So we have a little bit to do before you can actually hang anything. So this is all the decor I have laying out. A lot of this was shown, passport, <laughs> a lot of this was shown last year in my baby shower, but it's been a while, so I'll show you guys quickly again. This is actually two pieces, so it's this like metal hanging piece, and then behind it is that big picture, which will probably go on one of these bigger walls or this wall, I'm not quite sure yet, but we have all these tiny little pieces as well. Um, some variety of arrows. There's another painting in there. We have little shelving units as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to use them yet. And then I just started pulling everything out. We got to lay it out still, but we have these triangle hangers. This is the rug. We have this little fox picture hanger, another picture frame. So this is like, you know, stuff that would go on top of the bureau. Again, one of the shelving units and then this is really cute this is like a fence hanging thing so i think it's going to take me a few minutes to figure out how i want everything placed i think i'm going to wait over here until the bed is actually in place so i can see how high i want to put the picture my first spot is probably going to be over here and with that being said i want to bring up the bookshelf now because I want to be able to put it in this corner so this is going to have to slide down and then we'll see how far the crib comes down as well okay it's heavier than it looks okay so 
So I sat here and tried to make a couple different arrangements. So I think this would be kind of a cute arrangement for one of the bigger walls, so probably this one. Um, I think I'm gonna put this explore sign right over his little toy chest. And then I want that sign to go basically over his crib. And then I think this wall, we're still putting a window in, um, but I know we just wanted to get him in for the time being. So I didn't want to go crazy decorating this wall considering there'll probably be a big gap anyway. But for now, I figured this brown piece might do. Um, I'm not entirely sure yet. We have this big metal piece maybe hanging over. Hello, oh no, I just bought this carpet. No, you don't. You're lucky you're cute. <laughs> Hanging over the diaper station. I might mix it up a little bit. And then he does have a mirror that's gonna go over the bureau. And uh, we'll see. We have a couple more pieces over here too. I'm not exactly sure where to put them, but I know once I start putting the room together, I'll probably get a better idea. And then of course we have his bookshelf to decorate and the top of the bureau and stuff. So we'll do that until we get the crib inside. It's the first wall or picture up on the wall. I, let, I put it up a little bit higher because again, I have those little pictures I don't have a home for yet. I also have the arrows. So I figured maybe I could add a little bit to the bottom as well, but I'm gonna work my way over now and we're gonna next put on these two and see how that looks. 